tone and voice. I have a tone problem. Well, had a tone problem. Still working on it, you could say. But I realized I had to actually work on it once I got into my relationship. Being in my relationship and communicating with my partner, I realized that I didn't really have the best of tone communicating, especially in not heated discussions. Heated discussions are one thing, but just like when I felt a certain type of way, essentially, if I was upset, um, even if it was something minor or whatever. I realized, well, not realized, it was brought to my attention because of her that I had a tone problem. After a bunch of time self-reflecting and communication, because this was a long-term problem, I eventually realized that, oh, I do. And through reflecting, I realized I got this tone problem due to how I intro with my family essentially i feel very uncomfortable around family i don't feel secure you could say not around most um after not like as i said very uncomfortable very um i feel like things can be very unpredictable it feels like there's a lot going on and i feel to pull it as best as i can sometimes i'm in an environment where there's a lot of negativity so it feels like it rubs up on, on me. So when I'm with my girl and obviously you'd expect, hey, if you're with your partner, you're going to be super positive, super happy, a smile on your face, whatever. For me, if I'm walking around and I ain't got a smile on my face, I'm not jumping for joy with happiness in my demeanor or um, with my attitude. Like, it, it's not as deep to me as... Um, as something else just because i'm used to interacting with people like that because i'm around that you know i could say isn't supposed to be an excuse and in hindsight it was a silly way in thinking but that's how it was at the time so when we got in discussions or she asked me to do something my partner asked me to do anything that felt like it was too much or something that was upsetting but i still did it regardless for the sake of the relationship or just just begrudgingly i guess I, obviously i wouldn't be happy by it but to me it's like okay it's not that deep weather but i'm still keeping my same feelings my same tone my demeanor that's hey i'm not happy again i'm not expecting her to react to do anything about it it's just to me i'm a, as i said i'm around people who make me feel not happy to be around anyway so like I'm notorious for wearing my feelings on my sleeves from how I speak to people. Um, like if I'm around someone I really don't like, I find it very difficult to hide it essentially. To me, it's like, um, it's weird for me. I've always been around people where even if it was someone I didn't like or a group of people I didn't like, often not, I'm used to, hey, well, I will need each we have to be around each other because of circumstance, the situation or um for a solution to where it doesn't matter if we if I know you don't like me, you you know I don't like you. We still having to like to me basically being around people you don't like is normal and them knowing that isn't wasn't a problem to me. So my tone and how that came across to my lady was something different was something different to her and it affected her negatively because again my demeanor could come off as very cold very short to the point or even um like i have a, a bit of disdain in the back of my voice or whatever so i shouldn't be disregarding it as just whatever it's it's something and it's something difficult for her to deal with so it's something that i had to change to like make her feel okay because i shouldn't make her feel bad f for like for her asking me to do something for me to do in the end and then that thing she asked me to do and i end up doing makes her feel bad if that makes sense it's something i had to fix and change but discussing all this like right here and to write write a script for this it made me wonder and think like there's a lot of people i know who have really bad tones bad tones or the way they speak is why the title of this is tones and voices 
and I was thinking like this whole preamble which I've led up to to get to this point is basically explaining this is why I had a bad tone sometimes when speaking with my girlfriend and why this is how I ended up changing it with that I wanted to ask the pe other people that I know and um, just people in general there's some people I know who have really bad tones like my one comes out in hey I feel like we're in a situation where either I don't like you or I don't like the situation and this is me just expressing I don't like it but I'm not expecting anything from it this is just basically my feelings bare and that's it with other people it's like this is where it gets difficult though at the same time and why I really wanted to make a video about this I'm not too sure if it's just the way that I hear things or I hear people talk maybe I just see like I'm seeing shadows where there are no shadows essentially like um, maybe someone isn't being rude with their tone or voice but I'm just interpreting it as that it could honestly be that now there's some people I've heard where like or even people I know personally in my life like as family where it's like yo I, how do you how do you just keep on moving through the world with having such a like a messed up tone like that with your voice and I know for those type of people as well they've been pointed out on being rude Stop you're it. talking to a king <laughs> I'm telling mother oh, you can't I'm just having a bad attitude or like better tone in her voice about when speaking about somebody or just any subject matter and I'm thinking like with me it took me having this point out by my girlfriend for me being like okay cool let me self-reflect and change it but I'm trying to imagine if you're someone who's been pointed about your tone consistently over and over and over again by a bunch of different people and you keep getting negative reactions maybe people call out your name What's that? What's that, brother? Is it just a, oh no, I can't be asked to change myself over people? Is it just stubbornness? Like, it's something that got me very curious about because oh, I don't understand that. And sometimes I'd like to understand things I don't understand. Um, but at the same time, I was thinking, is it just me interpreting how some people speak as being rude and it not actually be in the case. I feel as though up to this point things were very a bit more serious. They still are, but I'm gonna try make at least a little bit lighter, change up the tones a bit. But to get straight into it, I find that people's inflections and the tones and attitudes very much affect how I perceive them or perceive how they perceive me I guess and it makes it hard for me to understand other people and their point of views because let's say you're generally an alright or decent person but you have a wild tone hey, 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 hey. I live in Snabby Birmingham if you want the fucking brawl come down Snabby Cast for Daddy G I'll come out of my house and I'll break your fucking legs you know the fuck like, let's say I don't know how you speak to other people, but with me, you got like, I don't know, a certain type of inflection or you have a certain way in speaking where let's say you finish your sentences with like, I don't know, a harsh sound or whatever. Like, it sounds weird when I say it, but if you're here in practice, you probably know what I mean. Um, like, I, like, for me, especially, I can be a paranoid person, so I interpret it as, oh, Am I not in the relationship that I think I'm in with this person? Like, at some point I'm thinking, oh, we must be cool because not even like friendly or whatever, but I think, okay, me and you are speaking, maybe we're trying to just get to know each other or we're trying to achieve something. So that's why we're talking or just making conversation. But someone has like, again, like an attitude in their voice. I'm thinking, oh, like it gives me the impression of either they have a weird type of thought towards me or that there could be something wrong with them because they don't notice 
how they're sounding this is what i mean where it's like to me i'm trying to find out on this one i'm trying to ask is that something where your parents your family like people around you have spoken like that so you just copy that and if that ain't the case what do you watch or find to just develop that way of speaking or is it something that just naturally is a part of you like i know the way that i speak even like the slang and the terms and um just my words i know a lot that comes from what i'm around i'm a full-on byproduct of everything around me essentially i don't think none of it's particularly natural to me so i'm trying to ask the same thing of other people essentially um if it isn't something that's naturally either developed from your environment or just i don't know your genetics i guess if it's something that is done on purpose i want to know what's the purpose for it like if you're someone who has a lot of influctuation in your voice or tone you have a lot of tone in general attitude or something just anything like that and how you speak and you do it on purpose and that purpose isn't to like achieve a certain type of goal like some people use put on like a deep voice or like a high pitched voice to like get off a certain demeanor to get what they want like some people try high voice for intimidation or like to establish, establish dominance some people use a low voice to sound more persuasive um like you know basic stuff like that essentially or um again they use big words that they maybe they do or don't know to sound more sophisticated but basic and what i'm trying to say is that people use different words and they they use their voice for different means if you're someone who's conscious of how passive aggressive your tone or language can come across and you do it on purpose what's the point like that's that's something that puzzles me and the environment like reason for it makes sense to me the genetic reason makes sense if again these are just possibilities i'm just trying i, I don't know in general but the purpose thing like is it like a a bullying type of thing where it's like hey what the fuck you say to me you little shit i've made a severe and continuous you try and do that with people and if someone doesn't call you out of hey you're speaking to me funny is that supposed to be the goal or is it so like i don't know again if this is just like paranoia and it's got nothing to do with that third reason fair enough and then i'm just wrong but i'm just spitballing all the ideas and if it is that i'd like to understand okay what's the intention to it and there's probably many more which i would love to hear and find out more about like again please comment in the comment section um it'd be amazing <laughs> tone and voice you know. ultimately the whole point of this video to say is be smart be empathetic be conscious of your language and how you speak to people not even just the words i think people are always taught a lot about the words and um how and when you use them but also how you say it we can just call it tact i struggle with tact and i'm still struggling with tact but I'm, i've gone better it's gonna be a long journey and um i'd like to hear if you are on the same journey or not regardless i say this has been the video hope you like comment subscribe hopefully i'll see you again next week should be a video out or now nah, podcast then video next so stay tuned and yeah i'm gonna get your mac out peace